of great headlines over the last few days, Ben and Kate. Mm. This was the <laughs> Sunday Mirror. Uh, I saw Kate's boobs by accident. It took me 20 years to confess. It took me 20 years to get over it. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Is it good or a bad way? Oh, 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 uh, yeah, oh, now, this is an interesting answer I have <laughs> to come up with. You're in strange territory now, <laughs> aren't you? Uh, I was flabbergasted when you sat down and confessed to me could that you, it happened Could you possibly ago. divulge the details of this oh, moment? Yes. Oh, I'm very happy to. Now, now we're sharing. <laughs> now, um, now we're out and proud. So, Kate, when we, used to, we were working working together for a long time, lived around the corner from each other, literally were neighbours. And uh, I'd invite myself over for a cup of tea, like I often did, because she was never that keen on me coming around, because I meant she had to tidy up. And, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I got there, I was cycling every at a time, because we living right in the middle of town. And I was cycling, Kate lived in a, a townhouse and her, ba her kitchen was in the basement. So you've got the railings oh, right. outside the front. It's a very tall, narrow house. That classic sort of yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, in London that you'll see. And I, I'm chaining my bike... <laughs> oh, I'm getting I shivers can see looking <laughs> I'm chaining my bike up down. to the gates. And it was about lunchtime, so Kate had obviously gone home and had a sleep. A little up early. like we often do, don't we? And yeah, I was chaining my bike but up. But normally in pyjamas. Well, yeah, oh. and then suddenly <laughs> someone moved, walked into the kitchen and I kind of looked up and it was Kate. And she was topless and I kind of stopped <laughs> and I was just transfixed. Uh, As you would be. Transfixed. <laughs> yeah, that's a good I word. I was transfixed. Parad <laughs> paralysed like a cobra. I think, with I think what you meant to say was, I immediately looked away to preserve her dignity. No, I didn't want to know. What I did was, <laughs> what I did, I didn't want to move because I didn't want... I got, no, I of course. Going, I no, didn't no, no, want to move. Let me <laughs> I, did, I thought if I move, she'll notice me, then that would be really embarrassing. So I did, I barely... And I undid Panic, my chain you. and I slowly just walked away like I'd never seen a thing. Oh, I just got no. my bike. Yeah. But still staring. Off, and like a hot sweat. <laughs> <laughs> After taking work. a photo. <laughs> but, yeah, but the but weird I... thing was, is I, I rang and made a statement, when are you coming over? You went, oh, you just got a bit tied up. Yeah, I can't, sorry. <laughs> but... yeah, but I so I just oh, thought, oh, OK. Oh. And then decades oh, that's passed. Hilarious. Yeah, I and... made the mistake of telling Chris Moyles. Once. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and then we were doing... And then suddenly it was on air. We did a podcast and he asked me the story. on the. So I, then I did the podcast with Chris and all the guys at his radio show. And then I said, right, I'm going to have to tell Kate now. So I had this morning where I came into work and I sat he down with so her. He was so scared. I wonder what he was going to tell years ago. me. And I said, Kate, there's something I need to tell you. And you were really panicking. I was thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What did you think? I've seen you naked. And I, and I said, when? Thinking, oh, my God. Because there were, could have been many times. Really he saw what? you completely naked. No. Topless. Topless. Yeah. Well, actually, Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of embellishment <laughs> goes a long way. But, and she said, and, and when? You said, when? Oh, it was, and you it said, was back well, then. And I said, was it before or after kids? And I said, and it was, yeah. Before kids. And I thought, well, thank God. <laughs> it's going to be a lot better back in then, isn't it? Your uh, memories are going to be sweeter. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, a little skip in a step for the rest of the day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, there's, that moment, that, there's that thing, isn't it, where you kind of accidentally see someone that you shouldn't see naked, like a little moment of... of, of Most of, people, I would say, apart from yeah, a significant other, didn't, and didn't, the rest of your family, maybe. But, uh, you know, occasionally you walk in on someone and maybe they're sort of inappropriately dressed or you see someone through a window. Yeah, it's really awkward. And you, you think, make it do sound I like say... It's a it is. It is. <laughs> is it? Well, I people have been getting my in touch. old on the toilet once. Yeah, not here. At the BBC, opened the door and he was sitting down. I just thought, oh god, close the door. Left. Very <laughs> awkward. Does he you? not yeah. know how locks work? I know, I know. <laughs> it was terrible. Was, this, was he a meteorologist as well? No, no, he was the actual head of the weather centre. So the head of the weather centre. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's not anymore. Do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> because of that. <laughs> he got him fired. Yeah. Oh, but no, that, you that, you know. No, no. <laughs> Martin Lewis, Martin Lewis tweeted this the other day. He had that one of those moments on the train the other day where oh. he walked up and he pressed the button to one open the train. One of those slidey door oh, moments. Hideous, and the woman who was sitting on the other side hadn't locked the door, but of course oh. the door opens really slowly. I know, it? and closes and then really slowly. And it's it. really yeah. far away from the loo. I know, it's so just it's <laughs> reaching, <laughs> reaching desperately. That happened to me, I was the person on the loo in the train oh, and the lady oh. I thought I'd locked it and then the door that opened this lady we're just kind of staring at each other I'm just like hi she's like <sighs> staring at each other oh, really it's so awkward. she didn't leave either like you she just stared yeah <laughs> well you, you know you, you're sort of transfixed it's the moment that I, I Apparently so. see it into my memory yeah fun memory uh -huh. though good Lots of you have been getting in touch about accidentally seeing people naked. Yeah, Jacqueline uh, said this, didn't she? I looked out of my bedroom window about four one morning and my neighbour had popped out 
um, to get the milk. <laughs> Popped totally out in every naked. Sense. No. Popped out in every sense, Susanna. Yeah. I don't expect he didn't expect anyone to be looking at that time in the morning. You see, a, we're people, always up at four o'clock. Be careful. About. That's what I was doing. I'd had a little nap. It was summer, and I got up. You were in your own kitchen as well. I really shouldn't have been. But anyone could have walked past. I mean, that was mm. you know that's the thing. Yeah. Frankly, there might be others who yeah, there is trauma. If you really thought, <laughs> in there North might be London, a support group sort of somewhere. Circa <laughs> 2005. Have you accidentally seen anyone naked? No. You never You've have. Been never. missing out. I don't care. What have you been doing? <laughs> and you know. did strictly. Locking surely. doors. Yeah. <laughs> surely everyone oh, has yeah. strictly. There must have been lots you of. No, you see people in their undies on strictly, but you don't see them actually fully naked. That's another reason not to do it. <laughs> 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 there will be other know. things in the papers to read, uh, oh, certainly. Uh, your new must read inside the Daily oh, yeah. Mail. Yeah, uh, is it every Thursday? It's every Thursday the in new uh, the new relaunched female magazine within the Daily Mail. I've stopped trying to be perfect, and so should you, because I clearly am not perfect, by the way. <laughs> um, and one of the uh, stories that I tell in the column today is about you, Kate Garraway, and Ooh. the fact that working. You saw with... her naked. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I was there that day as well. He just didn't know. It could be 20 years to confess as well. Um, it was that incident a couple of weeks ago when yes. we were on the programme. Yes. And I wore what I thought was, you know, one of the lovely dresses that Debbie Dresses gets out for us. And I sat down under the studio lights and Kate Garraway turned to me and said, I could see your bra. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you were trying to be naked. <laughs> but you were looking as well. I mean, when I saw you, I wasn't meaning to look. You were clearly... No, no, it caught my now eye. you're looking again. And a good friend would say... That's what I mean, working with there. supportive yeah. women who yeah. look out for you rather than go, ha-ha, what I can see her bra, don't tell her. If I, what would have happened if I had mentioned it? Would that be... What, uh, if I'd have said, oh, I think that bar... Well, if you said it in a sleazy a way, mm -hmm, see your that would be weird, wouldn't it? But if you said, you know what... I think it's a bit see-through. Yeah, I don't think you should wear that. I didn't realise I was supposed to check. I will make, take time to check from now on. <laughs> check underwear every morning. For all of you, if you need... <laughs> or in case. Sounds, is that the sleazy <laughs> thing you're talking about? In case, oh, she's wearing underwear. <laughs> uh, but every Thursday, then, the, the must-read <laughs> Yes, column. read all about it. It there looks... It's really good. I've been enjoying this morning's. It's, I can't wait for the next one. Thank you very much.